Hello, hello. All right, we are live. Oh. <laughs> you got a little visual at my uh, garage and car there. <laughs> All right, so going to get right into the news, going to get right into some hockey talk. Uh, I mean, right off the bat, the Sens signing of getting Dadden off to a three-year uh, deal, 5 million AAV, 15 total. I think, obviously, this is a huge signing for the Sens, I think, for experience, for scoring, uh, for power play. There's a lot I can go into this deal, just in terms of fit, in terms of lineup, but I, I think it's just going to come down to, they gave him 5 million per, they get the sends to uh, the cap floor. I, be I believe this deal gets them to uh, or above the cap floor. So that's obviously something. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to the people joining. Always want to give a shout out. Not sure if Nodi's went out, but Dallas Stars fan, everything hockey, visualize, salty, Winslow, Tayden, implicit, beast gamer, best of hockey, Starboy, AZ, Rios, Malachi, uh, Jeremy, all of you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'm in my car right now. Again, I'm going to get back into the grind of things by uh, next week, videos. I'm going to upload a video or two this weekend. Um, and obviously, we don't have a lot of people. I'm sure Notoese didn't really go out for everyone, but that's fine. I just want to leave this on the channel. But uh, my opinion for the deal, uh, dying off for three years, I think Sense fans should be happy. Uh, I mean, based on the fact that maybe there was some risk if... Uh, this was a long-term deal at this price, and I think for a guy like Dadnoff, who who's already uh, getting into, I think he's 30, 30, he's in around there, 30, right? So I think it's a guy you didn't want to sign for five, six years. Three years is pretty reasonable. And uh, I don't think anyone else was probably offering Dadnoff uh, five mil. Uh, so 31, if that's the case, then yeah, there you go, exactly. So I don't think many other teams were going to offer him five mil per uh, just because of the risk. Uh, yeah, if you guys can drop a like and obviously subscribe if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, and then Brendan Gallagher, I wanted to talk about it a little bit, 6.5 million per uh, for six years. I think this is a great deal for the Canadians. I think it's a little risky, but as I've said, I think Gallagher kind of has that uh, style of like a Brad Marchand just with less scoring. So if Marchand uh, is, I mean, an example for any kind of player like that is like, you have that physical ability as a smaller player. You have that skating ability, uh, get under the opponent's skin. Uh, hopefully that can uh, bring more skill now with a more skilled uh, lineup with Montreal. They have Josh Anderson now. They have Tyler Toffoli, uh, Suzuki, and Kakanemi growing. So I don't think it's a steal for the Montreal Canadiens with Gallagher, but I think it's like a decent deal. Um, and yeah, the Canadian division. I just wanted to touch on that because I'll be making a video next week on that, guys. Uh, the Bill Foley interview and stuff like that. There's been a lot of rumors that there might be just a Canadian division. I think that's a possibility for sure. Uh, if that's the case, then I think, I mean, market value is going to be high for uh, the NHL in terms of the Canadian teams. I think uh, you're going to see a lot of, well, I don't, I shouldn't say market value, but I guess the marketing uh, is going to be at a, I would say a higher uh, potential for the league, I should say. Uh, just more because, like, you're going to see rivalries and teams that are rivals play each other more. You're going to see Edmonton versus Calgary. You're going to see Toronto versus Montreal. Uh, Toronto versus Ottawa. Uh, Montreal uh, versus Ottawa. Edmonton versus Vancouver. Uh, Winnipeg versus Vancouver. Uh, like, some of these matchups we've seen that have been a lot of fun, uh, we're going to see more of. So, I, I think in that aspect, it's it's good marketing for the NHL. Uh, there hasn't really been any other mo moves. Like it's been pretty dry the last few days. I think Nick Paul uh, he signed just over a million per uh, with the Sens for two years. Uh, outside of that, uh, there's been some rumors the Leafs could go after Joe Thornton. So we'll see with that. I think I might make a video soon for both the Leafs halves, just because they've made a few moves li lately. Uh, the Sens now have made a couple moves as well. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I just wanted to go live quick. Obviously, YouTube did not send out notifications to a lot of people, but for everyone that's in here, I do really appreciate it. And uh, as I've been saying, I'm going to get back on the grind. I, I was going to take a week off here, uh, but I really don't want to take like a full week off. I just kind of want to like slow it down a little bit and just kind of chill and focus on school here. But uh, by next week, I will be back on the video grind. Zapnik, hopefully you're doing well, man. You can DM me whenever. Uh, yes, yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet. Drop a like. Thank you for joining Minka. Dominic, if I didn't get to you guys, if I didn't give you a shout out, just reach out to me for any questions. All right, guys, have a good one. Peace out.